today in the Chroma Studio to talk to you about effective painting grounds. Now it's springtime here in the U.S. and with springtime comes birds. And some of my feathered friends have made a nest up here on the roof of the Chroma Studio. So if you happen to hear twittering and tweeting while I'm talking, just know that spring has definitely arrived. The foundation of any painting are the surface that you choose and the grounds that you use to prepare that surface prior to painting. Now your surface can be just about anything, from a canvas panel to a canvas, one that maybe you bought at the store or one that you stretch yourself, to a hardboard panel, to paper, or even map work. The grounds that you use to prepare that surface are really what help that paint adhere to the surface. Now your ground should also be flexible, they should have enough tooth for overpainting, and they should create a good sealing barrier between your surface and the subsequent layers of paint. Chroma recommends three products that you can use for an effective ground. Binder medium is an acrylic emulsion and it acts as a sealer to prepare porous surfaces like paper or wood before using gesso. It also provides a somewhat slippery ground prep in its own right. It is milky but it will dry transparent with just a bit of a sheen. I like to apply a few coats with my brush, generally letting it dry in between coats. As a ground, the binder will remain sticky for a while and it is a very nice surface to paint on. I find it useful to apply a coat on top of the pre-primed canvas board so I know exactly what I'm painting on. Gesso Primer is a flexible acrylic ground with a high grit content designed to provide a stable white surface on which to paint. Gesso Primer can be used directly from the container for all over thick textural effects. I like to use gesso whenever I stretch my own canvases. I apply it with a brush like so. Sometimes I leave the cross hatching for a textured surface. Sometimes I will sand in between coats for a smoother surface. Liquid Gesso Primer has a thinner consistency which spreads more easily for a smoother painting surface. I like to use liquid gesso on paper, such as when I'm preparing pages for an altered book, on MDF board, and on canvas too. When I have a large surface, I'll sometimes use a squeegee to cover the area smoothly and quickly. Any of these products can be used for both acrylic and oil paintings. So before you create your next masterpiece with Atelier Interactive or Archival Oils, consider your ground, the foundation of a great painting.